fighting yeah, and what they're going through. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's good not to go out and, and, and indulge yourself in certain Amen. things. Mm -hmm. Folks already have struggles. Folks go out and say, I can handle this, I can handle that. You don't know what you can handle. Amen. They'll Amen. give you a world of trouble when you go out there and mess with it. Sure now you entangle. Mm -hmm. And the only thing going to get you out, you got to cry out to the Lord. Amen. Huh? you got to let the blood of Jesus break every yoke and tie down the stronghold. Mm -hmm. Now to set you free from what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Elder, stand up for me because I want you to read. Amen. For me here, Second Criminal, the 13th chapter. I tried to address it the best way I could. But now you see that the problem, amen, with the church of Corinth was what? Fornication. Fornication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had a great problem with fornication. Mm -hmm. They got upset, got mad at Paul. Paul had to take a break, had to set Titus up, mm -hmm. and let Titus preach to his own folks. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they got hope through him because he was a Gentile like him, mm -hmm. like them. Mm -hmm. And if God had delivered him and kept him, he can keep them. Amen. 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 Now it comes back after Paul had already preached and taught the word of God. Now look what that 13th chapter says. First verse read. Are you there with me saying? Amen. 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 This is the third time I am coming to you. Stop now. Paul said this is the third time. Mm -hmm. When now I was there in first career, I taught, I preached. And I tried to let you know that fornication is a sin, but what happened? Some of you got what thus said the Lord, you heard what the Lord said, but some of you still is not doing like you supposed to do. Read. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. See, talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. When folks are talking about you and saying things about you, it don't mean they lying all the time. That's right. Paul said, I'm still hearing things about you. Mm -hmm. Huh? You ain't doing like you should, like you ought to and stuff. And folks are talking you down, cutting you down, and they're saying certain things they shouldn't say. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Paul said, it's 50 50. He said, they ain't all lying about it. Anymore. All right. So Paul said, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, mm -hmm. every word is established. Mm -hmm. So therefore, Paul said, now there is some truth in it somewhere. Mm -hmm. But look at the love of God through all of this. Look what Paul read. I told you before and foretell you as if I were present the second time. Stop. See what he said? Mm -hmm. Paul said, now I don't told you one time. Mm -hmm. How you should grip yourself, how you should gird up yourself, how you should get yourself together, asking the Lord to help you to go through here and live this life for him. Paul said, I was there one and two times teaching and preaching the same word to you, old church of Korea. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read. And being absent now, I write to them which heretofore have seen. Stop. Now, Paul said, now, being absent, he took a little, little leave, but he let Titus take it up. He said, but I'm writing, I'm still coming back this time. I'm saying the same thing. Now, why is it writing? Not why is it writing? Because for them that sin. Mm -hmm. See what he said? Mm -hmm. He said, for them that sin. Mm -hmm. Y'all stay with me now, because this is a good chapter. He said, now, he said, which therefore have sinned. Mm -hmm. Not only have they just sinned, but the problem with sin is this here. They don't want to stop sinning. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So Paul said, that's why I come on more aggressive again. Paul said, I'm not teaching and preaching this because I hate you. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I'm teaching and preaching and trying to accept this here to let you know you need to stop this. Mm -hmm. Amen. And to all others, that if I come again, I will not spare. Paul said, I'm not going to spare. Uh -uh. I'm going to preach even harder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, the enemy will come against the man of God, the woman of God, not only the man of God, the woman of God, but anyone that's trying to live right, trying to live holy. The enemy will come at you to try to make you take down. Amen. Mm -hmm. They think you're making a person feel bad because they're not up to port like you ought to be. We ain't trying to make people feel Amen. bad. We're that's trying right. to tell folks come up. Come up. Right. We're trying it. to put hope in you, encourage you, mm -hmm. that you need to come up. Amen. And the only example you're going to have, yes, you are my brother's keeper. Yes, you are my sister's keeper. We are helping with one another. Amen. And that's why come, we got to be an example for one another. That you can always have hope to come out of what you are in. Amen. I would not spare. I'm still going to preach the truth. I'm still going to tell the truth. 
no matter what the condition is, what's going on, what's happening, Paul said, I'm still going to preach the truth. I'm not going to spare. Read. Since ye seek a proof of Christ speaking in me. Now, those are the folk that got mad at him. Mm -hmm. Those are the folk that got upset with him because he told them the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. They didn't want to correct themselves. They didn't want to get right. Mm -hmm. They did all they could do to shut Paul's mouth up. And you know it put a strain on for him to leave. Amen. It's bad when folks talk about you. Mm -hmm. It's bad when folks backfight against you. Mm -hmm. huh? And say all sorts of things, falsely against you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to take a leave. Mm -hmm. Paul said, yes, I had to take a little break. Mm -hmm. But I left Titus here with you. Mm -hmm. Your right. own kindred, your own kind. A Gentile just like you. That's how the wisdom of God worked through Paul. He said, look, Paul sent Titus. Read. Mm -hmm. Which to you, Lord, is not weak, but is mighty in you. I uh, read. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lived by the power of God. Woo! Yes, sir. We can do with the power of God. You know, I read. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. See, then we're not exempt from what we feel. Amen. We're not exempt from what we go to. Amen. But the Bible says, him that is weak, let him say he's strong. Amen. Don't get to the place you drown yourself in your weakness. Amen. What I mean by drowning yourself, you listen to the devil. You ain't trying to improve yourself. You ain't going to try to do no more, God. But you just going to wobble and watch it. Don't listen to the devil. Mm -mm. If anything, talk back to him. Say, I'm coming out of there. Amen. 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 Huh? You might not be where you're at, but you still be talking to him and say, I'm coming out of this. Mm -hmm. And he might even ask you how you say, in Jesus' name, in Jesus I'm name. coming out of Amen. this. He don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to stand up for yourself and fight for yourself. Mm -hmm. We're all the weak. The Bible said, let the weak say they what? Strong. Uh, and the strong ought to do what? Yeah, so you ought to be so sanctified and holy enough to, pre to, to pray for your brother and your sister when you see they ain't where they ought to be. Amen. Amen. That means you keep your mouth off of them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Huh? That's a bad thing for a child of God to be going through something and then they hear a brother or sister talk about it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That means folk ready in church mouth ain't sanctified. Mm -hmm. All right. We all are fear when it comes to this mouth. Mm -hmm. Loose lip will, will do what? Sink the seal. Sure will. Keep your mouth off of them. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't say nothing good about them, and you can't help keep your mouth off for them. Because you might get it, you might get that way. Amen. Might not be the same condition, but you might get in a condition. Amen. All right, you're gonna want somebody to pray for you and pray you out. Yeah. Amen. 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 Woo! But look now, look, go, go, read, read. Examine yourself. Stop. Examine who? Yourself. Examine your neighbor. Yourself. Huh? Examine your friend. Yourself. yourself. Huh? You do well to work out your own soul salvation. Yes, sir. You so busy finding fault in other folk and looking at other folk, what they doing and what they ain't doing. You better sanctify yourself. You better run for your life. You better make sure you stand for, before God with confidence, knowing that you are walking in the faith. Amen. Amen. So therefore, Paul said now to these folks that don't watch, still saying it. Mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't so much that they were saying it, but they were making a fuss out of it, mm -hmm. saying things like, I'll be to heaven when you get there. Oh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's what you got to deal with when you're dealing with folk. Where all you do is condemn folk, just them kind of folk. Mm -hmm. And you got to deal with them kind of folk. They almost have you to the place you don't even want to preach to God. How they call every throw that old nasty spirit on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? But mm -hmm. you got to be full of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and be just like the Apostle Paul and preach the truth anyway. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why it's going to be good to be in a church with somebody who preach the truth for you. Amen. And when you come out, you'll know how to come out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Listen, examine yourself. And what it asks, what it come here. Well, ye be in the faith. Stop right there. You put if there, can't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. All that means, you know where you at with the Lord. You know where you're walking with the Lord. You know if you're saved or not. You know if you need to come up or not. Huh? As much as I'm teaching the preacher right now, you know what I'm doing? I'm repenting. Repent. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm repenting. Mm -hmm. Asking the Lord to help me, give me strength to go through, Lord. Help me to stand for you, Lord. Help me to be a good example for the people, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
He said, well, you should know. Read. Prove your own self. Now you got to prove how you're going to prove it. Start doing what's right. Get out of that mess you're in. Start doing the right thing. And watch how God start blessing you even more. And it's a good thing that God gives us new mercy every day. Every day, Amen. every day you wake up, that means you can get improved and you can get help for yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God. And it said, prove your own self. Then then would ask your question again. What it say? Know ye not your own self. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to know. Mm -hmm. Remember the scripture in, 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 in uh, I think in the 15th chapter in the last verse of First Corinthians, when it said, uh, be ye steadfast. Mm -hmm. Unmovable, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Always abounding mm -hmm. in the work of the Lord. Then it said, knowing this, mm -hmm. that your labor yeah. is not in vain. Yeah. There's something you're supposed to know. Amen. I don't supposed to have to tell you that. You're supposed to know. You're supposed to know if the Lord come back tonight, if he come back while I'm preaching, if you're going back with him or not. Amen. That's a personal thing between you and your God. Amen. You're supposed to know that. Huh? That's why I thought the Lord will come back right now. If you ain't right, you ain't gonna say that Lord come on back. Mm -hmm. Huh? What you gonna tell the Lord come back for you know you ain't right? All right. Amen. Huh? You better say, Lord, help me get myself right. Amen. Oh, Lord, save me. That's why I repent every day and every night. Amen. Amen. Read on. How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. Now that's what it's talking about. When it says reprobate. It gets to a complete point where that you don't have a mind, don't want to serve the Lord. You ain't think about trying to get right. You ain't gonna be right. You don't want to do right, and you sick and tired of it and all that kind of you should and you don't never think you're gonna get right. My God. Mm. 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 When you get to that point, devil let the door. Mm. Yeah, mm. Jesus. And the devil gonna deceive you to the fullness. Mm. But look what Paul said about the word reprobate. Then what it said to anybody that's thinking that way. Look what it tell you. Read, read. But I trust that he shall know. Stop. You, you supposed to know. Amen. Is there any hope for me? Can I get right? Will I do right? Every day you live. And you still got a mind to know right from wrong, even if you ain't doing it, there's hope for you. Amen. That's how God is. Don't I teach you that God go all the way to the grave with you? Amen. And try to get you right. It ain't the will of God that you die in your sin. It always be hopeful. As long as you got breath in you, as long as you live, you can always say, Lord, forgive me. Help me to come up, Lord, for where I'm not. Amen. But you're supposed to know. But don't let the devil deceive you to make you turn your back on the Lord to think you're doing so bad Amen. that you can't get right. That's a lie for the pits of hell. Amen. So I rebuke that spirit. Amen. 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 Don't let it even get in your mind. Don't let it sit in your mind. I don't care how. You get rock bottom. God know how to deal with them folk to hit rock Amen. Amen. He know how to save them. Amen. He know how to bring them out. Mm -hmm. Read on. But I trust that he shall know that we are not reprobate. We ain't reprobate. I know I ain't reprobate. Amen. 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 You got to say that for yourself. I know I ain't reprobate. Amen. I know I ain't reprobate. Amen. 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 There's hope for me. There's Amen. hope for me. Thank Jesus. Thank you, God. Read on. We're going to get through this right quick. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil. Now I'm talking about do no sin. Now he said, I pray. He didn't say that some folk were going to get stopped. He said, I'm telling you that you need to examine yourself to make sure you ain't trying to sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. What is Paul trying to say? That you don't willfully sin. Mm -hmm. If you profess to have Christ in your life and the Lord is living in your life, you do not suppose to willfully sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. That means you enjoy sinning. Mm -hmm. Amen. But now you're fighting not to sin. You're supposed to fight all you can not to sin. Mm -hmm. And then live what? One day what? Day at a time. Day at a time. Don't, don't think there's so much of a hard task. Get through this day and then worry about two to two to get here. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you got to do it out there because the Bible says you can't boast for tomorrow because no man going to know he or she going to be here tomorrow. Amen. Right. You live for now. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why I come I don't go to sleep without repenting again. I know what I'm saying. Amen. I know I'm saying, Tony, I feel some folks and no folks all over the place. Yeah, I'm going to repent every chance I get. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Every chance I get, I tell the Lord, I save me mm -hmm. all over again. I know Amen. I'm saying. Amen. 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 Because I don't pray. Well, you don't know what's on tomorrow. That's right. Amen. Now, I pray to God that ye do no evil. Read. 
Not that we should appear approved. Uh -huh. We ain't got it all together yet. Mm -hmm. You ain't got it all together yet. Amen. You don't know what's going to matter. You don't know what kind of trial you're going to go to. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going to affect you, how you're going to act and stuff. That's right. And when trials and tribulation come, they come to what? Try you. Amen. Let's see where your faith is in God. And a lot of times you don't know when you're in. That's why you need to stay prayed up, fasting up, seeking the face of the Lord, and asking the Lord to help you. Amen. Amen. For the Bible says, what's in you at that same time and hour? It said that the Spirit of God will speak for you. Yes. Huh? yes. That's when God will come to your rescue. When he didn't come in like a flood, it said that the Spirit of God will lift up and stand Amen. against him. But you got to have something down on the inside mm -hmm. of you that will rebuke the forces of hell, that will talk back to the devil, that will say no to the works of the enemy. Amen. You feel that the enemy trying to just go through you and do things that it shouldn't do? Rebuke re re them in Jesus' name. Amen. Fight them back. Yes, yes. yes. Freedom him. But that ye should do that which is honest. See, do what, try to do the right thing. Do what's right. Mm -hmm. And all of us ain't got that yet. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, do what's right. Be honest. Mm -hmm. Free. Though we be as reprobates. That means you wanted to do right, even if you ain't right. But make sure you ain't reprobate toward that. Mm -hmm. A reprobate person is to a person that left to themselves. They don't get no more reproof. They become a bastard's child. They left to themselves. Folks are not considered God no more. Folks don't even tell them about Christ no more. Mm -hmm. They couldn't care less and they die or go to hell in a while. Mm -hmm. That's when you know you're left to yourself. Mm -hmm. When nobody don't tell you, you know you need to live right and get right and stuff. So man, folks ain't studying me. Huh? You should always have somebody to tell you to get yourself right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Read. For we can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. Mm -hmm. See how they got married at Paul? Mm -hmm. Paul said, why are you fighting the truth? Mm -hmm. Well, even where you ought to be, Paul said, why are you fighting the truth? Amen. The truth is what's going to help you when you come up to it. So stop fighting the truth. My God. These folk fought against Paul so much until he had to take a rest. Jesus. Who is going to read him? For we are glad when we are weak. Uh -huh. And ye are strong. That's when you get strong. When the Lord brings you to your weakness, mm -hmm. he said, Lord, have mercy that I was down to my land. I had myself in a fix, man. I didn't know how in the world I'm going to come out of this, how I'm going to get out of this. And you know how you come out? Through God's mercy. Amen. Amen. God still prolong it. Get your mercy to get yourself together. Mm -hmm. and get yourself back in place like you ought to. Come back up to the way like you ought to. His mercy. He's still Amen. extending your life. Mm -hmm. That's how he do it. And you're weak. Sometimes you're in a mess, you don't feel like you don't come out of it with God. Yep, as long as you live, you can come out of it. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Read it from again. For we are glad when we are weak and ye are strong. Mm -hmm. Read. And this also we wish, even in your perfection. That means you can do better, you can come up to perfection. Mm -hmm. That means that you ain't gonna stay there too long. God gonna get you. You keep trying to do the right thing, God will perfect that thing. Mm -hmm. It will come to pass. Your faith will get you out of it through Christ Jesus. Amen. Huh? When you see no way out of it, your faith will get you out of it when you're still striving to come out of that mess. And the only way you're going to come out of it is give it to the Lord and ask the Lord to help you to come out of it and bring you to perfection. For perfection for what? That situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So soon as you get out of that situation, six months later, you might get another. Get another. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, that's how life is. That's life for everybody. Mm -hmm. Read on. Therefore, I write these things being absent. Mm -hmm. Lest being present, I should use sharpness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul said, you don't want me to come back again. I'm going to put it on you. All right. <laughs> you <laughs> said, I'm being light with you now. I'm, uh, I'm absent for you. I ain't need me. You don't see my face now. He said, well, let's do a letter. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I come back again. I'm going to cut through there. Mm -hmm. uh, the word of God is going to come sharper than the sword. Mm -hmm. uh, two years of Paul said, I'm coming through that this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's good that you got Titus there, though. Paul was saying, you don't want me back there. Mm -hmm. Read on. According to the power which the Lord had given me to edification mm -hmm. and not to destruction. 
See, Paul said, I'm not there for your destruction, but you let the devil tell you that I'm trying to destroy you. Mm. Ah. Paul said, I took a break to get somebody that you love, that your own kindred, your own kind, a Gentile just like you, where you can give and laugh with. But when it come to me, you didn't want me. Mm. You said I was too sharp. Mm -hmm. I was too sound. Huh? I don't give you a break. Paul said, you don't want me back to this time. Mm -mm. Read on. <laughs> My God. Found their brother. Found their brother. Farewell. Farewell. Be perfect. Stop, stop. But when he said farewell, when he said bye, he still come up right behind and said, be what? Perfect. He didn't say farewell and you're going to be your best. Uh -uh. He said farewell and be perfect. Be perfect. That means whatever you're dealing with, you need to get yourself right. Amen. Go ahead and tell him, yeah, be perfect. Get yourself right if you ain't right. Read. Amen. Be of good comfort. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Be of one mind. See, when he went back to 1 Corinthians, mm -hmm. when it talks about division, mm -hmm. and Paul said, we all ought to be on one accord, speak the same thing, mind the same thing, mm -hmm. that there will be no division among you. Huh? Be perfectly joined together. See, deal with is skill when come with folk come up with a lot of junk in their mind and bring division and stuff, and they can't stay on one accord with the preaching mm -hmm. of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Read on him. Live in peace. Live in peace. Mm -hmm. Love one another. Have enough love in your heart for one another. When your brother and sister get in trouble, that you will know how to go to your knees, pray them out, and get them out, and hope they come out. Amen. That's the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. Not the bike bike, not the talk, mm -hmm. run folk from the church and all that kind of stuff. That ain't the church. Mm -hmm. The church won't folk me and stuff. Mm -hmm. The church won't fall so much into it. Say, let the weed and the tab go together. Mm -hmm. And tell the rest of the folk, keep your mouth off the people. If God business what he do. And when the when harvest time comes, he know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Huh? He, mm -hmm. Ain't nothing here from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing. Don't pray God. I don't care how much you see, how much you think you see. Don't get in the footsteps of God and try to pray God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let the pastor be the pastor. Let God be God. And you keep yourself out of God's business. Amen. You just love one another to the end. Amen. 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 Breathe, yeah. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. See, that's how you stay peaceful. Breathe. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Well, you got to show them be sanctified to me. That's something that just been stopped in church. Because uh -huh. of the uh, Jewish people back then would kiss one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flesh, man. 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 Flesh, <laughs> they make you look up. Amen. For some reason, the old, the old women love to do that. They grab you, pull you to you, and get you, throw their hand in your back, and you go rub it around hard and stuff. You look it up every morning. <laughs> that I guess it was their custom. That's how they did stuff. Amen. Amen. All the saints salute you. Amen. Read. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I pray that you know whether you are in the faithful life. Amen. Thanks, I love you. Amen. Fight for your life. Mm -hmm. Continue to run for your Amen. life. Amen. Don't worry about the church. God going to feel the church in his own time. He's going to send people here that love one another. Amen. Amen. You don't need a people here that gonna cause trouble. All so, right, man, come on. Folk come in here, we just gotta love and show them love and hope they come and want to call and do the same thing. Amen. 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 Amen.